Good morning to one and all gathered here. As we all know, we have gathered to see our Maths Expo and going to enjoy by seeing lots of mathematician. To begin this function, the first and foremost thing which we want to do is prayer. Everything begins with prayer is half done. So let me call upon Mrs. Lakshmi Kala, ma'am, to seek the God's blessing. Please, ma'am, let us all stand for the prayer. Yamaku vindum varangalai, isai pen kelai raivane. Yamaku vindum varangalai, isai pen kelai raivane. Manadil salanam illamai, madil irule thonramai. Ninekum porudu nin mona Nilevan did an in sail vendum Karnakum silvum nuruvayadu Ivayum tarani kadavai Yamaku vendum varangarlai Is a pain kerai ravani Is a pain kerai ravani Thank you, ma'am, for seeking the God's blessing. Welcoming the guest is the culture of our country. Now let me call upon Mrs. Annapurni, ma'am, to welcome the gathering. Please, ma'am. Everyone, please be seated. Good morning to one and all gathered here, physically and virtually. I am really happy to privilege to stand before you to welcome you all for the Math Expo. First, I would like to welcome our beloved principal, Sri Sanmukhanandan, National Awardee, and Radha Krishnan Awardee, who is the flag man of the ship. Welcome you, sir. Now, I welcome our young and energetic VP, Madam, Sri Madhyan Radha Raja, who is working tirelessly for the upliftment of the school. Welcome you, ma'am. Now, it is time to welcome our Haitham sir, uh, Sri Stephen Paul Asir in absentia, who is silently working to bring up the school to a greater position. Welcome you, sir. Next, I welcome to our administrator, Mr. Madan, in absentia, who is administrating our school in a nice manner by getting the help and advice by the heads. Welcome you, sir. Next, my welcome to the parents, students, and well-wishers of our school who is watching the program online. Welcome you parents and well-wishers. Now, now my welcome goes to my colleagues who are present here. Welcome you teachers. Once again, I welcome one and all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your wholehearted welcome. Now let us have a feast to our eyes. Here comes our first and second standard children to perform a dance in front of us. Please, children.
Thank you, children, for your wonderful performance. Let us visualize a skit which deals with real life situation. Here comes our children to entertain us. Please, children. Mummy, mummy, my school reopen on September first. I am so happy. I am going to see all my friends and my teachers. Jolly, jolly. I am also very happy. After two years, you are going to school. But what about your uniform? It became very shorter. So we have to take a new uniform. Okay, mummy. I want stationery item, pen, pencil, bag. Okay, let's go to shop. Welcome, welcome, ma'am. What do you want? Please show me pencils, pens, lunch bag, and school bag. Here are the pen, pencil, lunch bag, school bag, ma'am. How much? The cost of a pen is ten rupees. Pencil five rupees. School bag five hundred rupees. And lunch bag one fifty rupees, ma'am. Okay. I want ten pencil and ten pen. Why? One is enough, no? One is for me and the remaining is for my friends. Why are you buying for your friends? Many students are very poor because of Corona. Their parents didn't go to job. We have to help them. Very good. I'm proud of you. You learned many values from your school. Thank you, mummy. Very good. Thank you, sir. How much? Wait, ma'am. I will calculate. Ten, 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 five hundred rupees. Ten pencil, fifty rupees. One lunch bag, one fifty rupees. Or two hundred rupees. School bag, five hundred rupees. But eight fifty. Very good. Mummy, give eight fifty rupees. I'm not having change, so I will give rupees thousand. Your remaining, your remaining change two fifty. You give more money. The remaining change is one fifty rupees. You give two fifty rupees. Sorry. We need to go to textiles for buying uniform. Okay, mummy. Mom, mom, please wait in my shop also. I am having textiles. Please, can you come and see, ma? Okay. Here are the textiles, ma'am. How much length I need to buy for this shirt? Wait, ma'am, I will measure. Okay. Half meter, ma'am. Okay. How much it cost for one meter? One thirty rupees, ma'am. Then how much for two and a half meter? Right, ma'am. I will calculate. Two me two and a two meters equal to two two sixty two fifty two two fifty centimeter two and a half two two meters. Mm. Cost two ton two sixty rupees fifty meters sixty five rupees what a three twenty five very good how much discount twenty percent each ma'am okay totally how much wait ma'am okay mm. two two sixty rupees excellent 
Ma'am, which school are you studying? I am studying Kamravati Senior Secondary School, Sagabura. Yes, sir. It is a reputed school and also celebrating Golden Jubilee this year. Along with maths, they are having Vedic maths, which improves mathematical skills. School has the facility of a max lab, which helps to increase their mathematical skills. Today, they are celebrating Max Expo. You can also see the Expo TV show. Fine, ma'am. Through you, I know very well about Kamlavati Senior Secondary School. I would like to admit my son in that reputed school. My son also can up with flying colors like Kamlavati. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Really, it is a drama which creates how to manage the situation when we go for shopping. Now it's time to watch the demonstration and the importance of math tricks by the students. Now I request the dignitaries on the dais to listen to the demonstration. Please, Sarah and Matt. Good morning to everyone. I'm Amitashi from Savan Global. Today, we are going to solve a puzzle called Creative Elimination. There are some instructions to follow while you are solving this puzzle. Rule number one, count one, two, three in a straight line. Remove third coin from your count. Rule number three, don't start from the empty shell, but you can use your empty shell as a second one. Continue this process as at last there must be one coin left. Like. You can remove that coin. You cannot start counting from the empty chair. You can also count like this. So you can use the empty chair as a second one to count. All right, all right, sir. I will explain the secret behind this puzzle. Now we are counting in a straight line one, two, three. I have removed the third coin from my count and I have started my counting from this coin. So we have to get this coin be removed one, two, three. Again, I have starting from I started my counting from here. To remove this coin, I have to start my count from here. One, two, three. So this coin, one, two, three. 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 Good morning, sir. I am Netra from 9th Global. Now, I am going to explain about Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is named after a Greek philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras. It is used to find the longest side of a right angle triangle. First, let's take a right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle, the longest side is called hypotenuse and the other two sides are called adjacent sides. The statement of Pythagoras theorem says that in a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of other two sides. You can see here, c square is equal to the sum of a square plus b square. Now, let's take hypotenuse as 10 units and the other two sides as 8 units and 6 units respectively. To prove this statement, 10 square is equal to the sum of 8 square plus 6 square. Now, let's find the area for this square. Area of this square is 100 square units. Area of this square is 36 square units. And area of this square is 64 square units. Now, if we add 64 and 36, we get 100. Hence, the statement is true. And the converse of the Pythagoras theorem is also true. That says, if a square value of one side in a triangle is equal to the sum of the square of other two sides, then it will be a right angle triangle. To prove this statement, we want to arrange these squares like this. 
and with this converse we can have a right angle triangle real life applications using pythagoras theorem we can measure the length of the network if you know the length of the tower and the distance between you and the tower and we can measure hypotenuse by using this pythagoras theorem if the hypotenuse length is known then you can have a good network then architecture and construction are the given two lines the pythagoras theorem allows you to calculate the length of the diagonal connected with the this is also used in navigation to find the shortest travel route thank you yes good morning i am mary smelrun pakya from fifth standard jasmine section now i am going to do multiplication can you identify what's this this is pallanguli what shall we use this for we can use this for praying do you know we can also use this for learning maths let's enjoy learning multiplication using this pallanguli first we have five bits in first row we have one groups of five so one five is five now we have two two groups of five so two five are ten now we have three groups of five so three five are fifteen now we have four groups of five so four five are twenty five now we got five groups of five so five five are ten twenty five we can continue this and get up to 10 5 is 50 see 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal to 25 so multiplication is nothing but repeated addition we can also use this method for other multiplication tables also thank you sir Sir, I use only five, sir. Sir, good morning, everyone present here. Good morning, sir. Now, now I am. My name is Kushwant. I am studying in Sunflower. I am Kushant, studying eighth row. Now we are going to multiply two three-digit number using sticks. This is a Vedic method. Now we need to arrange two three-digit number using. Now I am arranging like this. Three first number is hundred and twenty-three. Okay. Second number is three hundred and twelve. First I am arranging three, three vertically, two vertically, one vertically, three horizontally, one horizontally, two horizontally. Now we need to add the intersections. Intersections, okay. Two here. Now we need to say diagonally. One plus four, that's five. Two plus three, five. Five plus six, eleven. Three, three, sir. Three plus six, nine. Here nine, okay, nine. Sir, we are coming like this, sir. No, sir. I'm not a mathematician, sir. First, yes, sir. So first, we need to add two. That's here five. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks. Good morning to one and all present here. I am our guy three from eighth classroom. Now I am going to introduce most fun and easy method of division. For example, seven divided by two. Here seven is a. Here seven is a divided and two is a divided. Here seven is a divided and two is a divided. So we want to keep seven six in this side. Here two is a divisor, so we want to remove two two sticks and put it to the first curve. 
and it is also called surface the repeating subtraction and how much stick is remaining five sticks are remaining i again remove two sticks and put it to the second card and how many sticks are remaining three sticks are remaining i again remove two sticks and put it to the third card and remaining is one one is lesser than the divisor so we cannot put into the cup so remainder is one how many cups are filled with sticks three cups so three is the question now check our answer divisor into quotient plus remainder equal to dividend three into two plus one equal to seven so our answer also correct and what is this symbol this is the symbol of division i am going to tell about one interesting fact about this symbol it is called obolus it was first used in 1659 by swiss mathematician johann hendrik rad thank you. good morning to everyone i am achmal from sixth lilly now i am going now i am going to explain you all all about fraction square and how to add fraction this is a square means the whole now i am adding two equal rectangles which which complete the whole square each one is 1 by 2 of a whole now i am adding a whole and half of the rectangle we will get 3 by 2 now i am placing three equal rectangles over the whole if we add one one third of a whole we will get the whole that is one again if we add a whole and two one third we will get five by three like this if we divide e divide the whole equally we can add the parts which use as fraction thank you Good, good morning. I'm Shanmugam Priti from A Jasmine. Now I'm going to explain you about the concept fraction circle. Here we are having a circle which is a hole. Now I'm placing two equal half of a circle over the whole circle. So each one is one half of a whole circle. Now I'm placing three quarters of a circle over the whole circle. so each one is called one third of a whole circle now i am adding four parts of a circle over the whole circle so each one is one fourth of a whole circle now i am placing six parts of a circle over the whole circle so each one is one sixth of a whole circle now i am placing eight parts of a circle over the whole circle so each one is 1/8 of a whole circle now i'm placing 12 parts of a circle over the whole circle so each one is called 1/12 of a whole circle thank you sir so what is the advantage of this Uh, sir uh, the advantages are when we are sharing something we can share it equally if we are not sharing equally there will be a fight for the uh, thing so we can do this for sharing things so to eight part right good morning to all i am monisha of nine jasmine Now I'm going to conduct a small game which is related to prime numbers. Prime number is a number which is only divisible by one and itself. Example 2, 3, 5 and so on. 2 is 
choose the only given prime number and the remaining prime numbers or odd prime number. Now I would like to say the rules of this game. Use the given prime numbers 5, 17, 7, 13, 23, 19, 11 and arrange in each circles to get the sum as 41 in each straight line. Get 41. Eh? Yes, let me each strike one. Where, where, where it is, it should be. Here, on, here, here, on this side. Here. Here, here, here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Sir, is this correct? Is this correct? Here it is. Here also it should be the same. Okay, sir. Now I will reveal this uh, answer. If you add 5, 19, 17, you will get the sum as 41. And if you ha add 11, 7, 23, you will get the sum as 41. And here also you will get the sum as 41. This is the only way to get the sum as 41 in each straight line. The rule began to rule, sir. Hmm. We have to get the 41 in each straight line. So, the only error, trial and error, or any rules say why seven should come here? Not that, sir. Here. We have to get 41 in each straight line. Yes, thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Today, I'm going to explain about linear equation, sir, using this tool. Now, the now we should take a variable that is 5x plus 10 equal to 20. Now I have the variables x and 5. So I'm going to multiply this and we get 5x. Then according to the sum, we should fix plus 10. Then again, according, we should fix plus 20. Then in the LHS side, in the left hand side, it is a positive number. 10. So in the right hand side, we should use it as a negative number that is minus 10. Then we should subtract this 20 and 10. So this is a 10. Then in the left hand side, it is a multiplication. So here it is a divide. divide. So 10 divided by 2, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Now x is 2, sir. Yes, sir. It is also used in real uh, real life problems. Uh, age age problems in maths and uh, finding in speed, time, distance, etc. Sir. Good morning, sir. I am a Madhimita from Seventh Global. I am going to explain about how to add integers using tokens. An integer is a set of positive and negative numbers along with the number zero. The zero is neither positive and nor negative. The integer was introduced in 1563 by Albert Northholst. The integer was used to express in our day-to-day -day situation in mathematical terms. For example, profits are represented as positive integers and losses are represented as negative integers. The height above the sea level is represented as positive integer, and the depth below sea level is represented as negative integer. In banking terms, the money with credit is represented as positive integer, and the money with debit is represented as negative integer. Now, let us see how to add integers using these tokens. Here, I'm taking blue color token as positive integer and white color token as negative integer. One blue color token represent plus one and one white color token represent minus one. Each token represent one. And also, when we add a positive integer with its corresponding negative integer, we will get the answer as zero. Now, I'm going to add two negative integers. Here, I'm taking 
minus 3 plus minus 2. So I'm going to add now 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So here I get the answer as minus 5 because when we add minus 3 and minus 2, we, we will get the answer as minus 5. And now I'm going to add two positive integers. Here also, here I'm taking plus 3 and plus 2. So here also I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here I get the answer as plus 5 because this is plus 3 and plus 2. And now I'm going to add a positive integer and a negative integer. Now I'm taking minus 4 and plus 2. As I said already, when we add a positive integer with its corresponding negative integer, we will get the answer as 0. So 0, 0. And we will get the answer as minus 2. Therefore, when we add minus 4 and plus 2, we will get the answer as minus 2. And now I am going to add positive 4 and minus 2. Here is a positive 2. And we can, we can, the integers are also can be represented in a number line. In the number line, we can see the positive integers in the right side of the number line and the negative integers in the left side of the number line. Thank you, sir. No, sir, we can do the addition. Good morning, everyone. I'm S. Madhumata from 8 Jasmine. And now we are going to see about LCM. What is LCM? LCM means least common multiples. We are using LCM in our real life at many places. For example, at traffic lights and for calculating the interval breaks in schools. And we use LCM method in following fields like about an event that is or will be repeating over and over. To purchase or to get multiple items in order to have enough. To analyze when something will happen. Huh? To analyze when something will happen again at the same time. And now let's see an easy example for LCM by this pegboard and these pegs. Let me take two numbers first. Let me take the first number as 3 and second number as 4. Now I am going to insert three pegs here. And four here. Here, this place is empty, sir. So we need to fill up three because we took the number as three. Here now it become empty. So we have to fill up four. Now, totally, this is the answer. Uh, let's count these pegs. 12. This is the uh, LCM for 3 and 4. Totally, we got 12. Thank you. Good morning. It's me, Isam Karthik of 7th and Club. Today, I am going to find pain factorization using pegboard and pegs. Prime factorization, prime factorization is a useful skill in our real life. It is used in comparing money, dividing things into equal pieces and on exchanging money. 
for example if you are having 50 rupees we have to divide and uh, give that to the beggars equally means we can divide it in 555 rupees now i am going to find prime factors of number 40 arrange 40 in five rows five rows and eight columns there are five rows so i taken five red bricks and arranged it here there are eight columns so i taken eight red bricks and arranged it here Five is already a prime number, so I leave it as it is. Now I am going to arrange this eight in another way as four rows and two columns. Sir, it is easy to. Some students are not understanding because they are not able to find numbers that are ready. That means that time uh, we use like this. Game way, how to learn? Hi everyone, I am the Aglim Pishes Jofi of Lavent, and today I am going to tell about how to learn nine and nineteen multiplication table with the help of math trick. Now I show you. Now I write the tables. First, I write all the numbers. now i am going to be usually we know this trick now i am going to start the number 1 in ascending order 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 5 6 7 and again i'm going to reverse word in descending order to 0 to 9 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 this is nine table and next i'm going to show 19 table usually we don't know that and i'm going to
and here i am going to take odd numbers 1 2 3 i am going to take odd numbers and in descending order i'm going to do 0 to 9 This is nineteen table, and if you know some tips to study up, study the math, then we can easily solve the problems. And the yeah, same tricks, sir. Ah. Oh, so here see, we could not do. I think so, sir. Yes. Hundred digits. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Today, uh, it's me, Jeffrey Raj from Ninth Row. Today, we are going to see about squares of numbers fifty-one to fifty-nine. Ninth Row. Yeah. 
Sir, now, sir, now fifty uh, fifty is a working base. So fifty uh, divided by two twenty five. Next we want next we want to uh, add new unit number. So twenty five plus one twenty six. Next one square is equal to zero uh, zero one. So right. So next, uh, two square is zero four. Three square is zero nine. Four square is sixteen. Five square is twenty five. Six square is thirty six. Seven square is uh, forty nine. Eight square is sixty uh, four. Nine square is uh, eighty one. So this is an easy method to do the sum. Good morning, sir and ma'am. My name is Akshay Ratna. I'm going to give a presentation on daily you where, where we use daily mathematics. So first we will see about polynomials. Rene Descartes, a mathematician from the 16th century, he found analytic geometry which helps us to reduce the co complex geometric solution into algebraic solution. So the formula he found out was a x squared plus b x plus c, which is the normal formula for a polynomial. Here, A, B, C denotes constants and X is a variable. So some of the daily life examples. Here we have taken C as a concentration of drug in blood after T hours. And the formula we use to find out it is minus 2 T cube plus 60 square minus 8 T plus 8 milligram per deciliter. Next we use in counting the blood platelets. And uh, for giving a very thrilling experience for the people who are riding the roller coasters, we also use the formula like ax power 6, bx power 5, cx power 4, dx cube, ex square plus fx plus g. Next, next we use uh, one formula to identify Celsius to Fahrenheit, also convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. The formula is c equal to 5 by 9 into f minus 32. And during global warming time, we need to find out the temperature. So for that also, we use polynomials. Next, we will see about trigonometry. So the historical background. So in early time, we used to find angles in the, but it was uh, the Greek astronomer Hippocrates who found out a trigonometric table which measured the length of a chord subtending various angles in a circle of a fixed radius r. So what is actually trigonometry? Trigonometry is the study of relationships between sides and angles of a triangle. Here, tri means three, gon means sides, and meta means to measure. And the uses of trigonometry. We use trigonometry in mobile games to give a, a 
to provide the uh, users with a great experience. So here we can measure uh, how uh, if we are playing an aeroplane game, we can see from which degree the uh, the view should be great, something and like that. Next, we can use trigonometry in placing the satellites in a perfect position so that we get a precise location on the uh, objects on Earth. Then we also use to measure certain entities like the height of a pillar and the tree and also mountains using the angle which we see them. We also use the trigonometry in criminology to find out the place of the suspect from the bullet he fired. We also use them to find the depth of the sea because it is 2D, we can't measure them. We use trigonometry with uh, and also find out the distance of objects from the top of the sea. And why, uh, next we'll talk about Pythagorean theorem. Why is the Pythagorean theorem very important in real life? Coming to the history of the Pythagorean theorem, it was found by the Greek philosopher Pythagoras uh, to find the longest side of right triangle. And the formula is A square plus B square equal to C square. A and B are the sides of the triangle and C is the hypotenuse of the right, right angle triangle. In real life, we use Pythagorean theorem for navigation, for construction and the um, surveying the land, playing baseballs, etc. We use Pythagorean theorem in uh, navigation to find out the shortest travel route. Instead of traveling in a long distance, we can find the shortest distance and travel easily. And Pythagorean theorem is used in surveying the land to find out the uh, length of the tower so that we get, get, the, um, get the speed of the internet in a very quick and Pythagoras, uh, so to conclude that we also use many fields and, uh, in our daily life and Pythagoras theorem is also one of the important fields in it. Thank you, sir. Once again. Once again, good morning to everyone. Now I am going to multiply two, three digit, four digit numbers using Vedic method. I am using normal method. It's a normal method. It takes up to two minutes. Now waiting method. Now. 
now i am going to use vedic method it only takes few minutes now the base of this four digit number is second number also has thousand the one place there is four and five now we need to multiply once as in a divide this into two parts first we need to multiply four into five that is 20 the base has three zeros so we need to add the first zero here next two and zero next we need to add this two numbers and add it to the base that is one So, no. no, there is thousand and no. Now we need to remove this line. That is thousand and nine zero two zero. And for the same, it comes in just one step. You can also use it in your brain very quick. Thank you. Now I am going to do Vedic division. By multiplying any number by ninety nine. First ninety nine by three two. This is division and this is dividend. Now we see the divisor. It has two digits. So we want to divide two digits for remainder column. Now take two two digits. That is thirty two and fourteen. For write the first number as it is. That is thirty two. Then add thirty two with fourteen. That is forty six. Then add forty six with twenty. That is sixty six. Now the quotient is three two four six. And the remainder is sixty six. Now, now, now I am going to write in normal method. Okay, two. thank you thank you children for your wonderful demonstration Next here comes a video which tells about the types of angles through yoga and asanas. Hi friends, I am Karthik Ayer from 9th rose. Do you all enjoy to do yoga? Yes, because yoga keeps us fit and energetic. Not only that, we can learn Maths through yoga. Now let us see angles through yoga.
Now I request our principal, sir, Sri Shanmugaranandan, to address the gathering. Please, sir. It's a pleasant noon. Sri Shaicharanam. Praise the Lord. Ella Pugaram Irevani. So really I'm much delighted and much pleased. Made Max is so easy. I am one among the lakhs and lakhs of people who get scared about Max. Now I feel that how it's so easy with our active Max lab by RT Max teachers. And really it is uh, give a big applause for all that. So this request is from all my parents and students who are being virtually. So Max, the day-to-day -day life, is part and parts of our life. That's why Max and science cannot be separated in our day-to-day -day act from down to desk, top to bottom, left to right, anywhere. Really, as you can see this, uh, how these angles are technometry, Pythagoras theorem, when we have learned that, we all felt that why it has come in subject taking our life. Now we learned it is part of our life. That's the way we all made it happen. Thank you all. So this is the difference. So Max is a part of our life. And really trichromant and Pythagoras theorem because when you want to measure the height of the building, I asked me, come on, go and measure the height. I said, I cannot go top and measure. I don't have such a big tape, but from your place, you can tell me the what is the exact height of our building, right? Yes or no, even there is no, even sky also you can measure it. So that is a basic concept you all made everyone to understand. So I, I mean, I'm appreciating all my team of mathematics, right from Napurni to fellows, KG teachers. And uh, also Mrs. Satya Raj, Uncle Satya Raj. Uh, so main is, and when they present Vedic maths, all of Sikrama Bolla, Ade Namakun Kashmada and the So other way, you know, you will fast up Pongo, it's all uh, helpful when you go for a competitive exams, right? So in a similar narrative, you have to tell the speed, and some test competition will test you the accuracy. That's the difference between various uh, competition ahead. So I was told that when you are attending the GM and JE exams, there, there are a number of sums of more and your speed is less because all engineers have to be good enough in doing the calculation. That's why the speed is calculated, right? Whereas a neat exam, less number, time is more, because you have to see that how present your mind you are using it to do all your emergency cases. So that is the difference between these two. So all these are, have their own purpose. They have their own goal, their objectives. So that is the reason we, in spite of the hectic schedule and pandemic period, we are no way locked. So we have proved ourselves, Max, and I think here after, you all children will enjoy the max, am I right? And this is a question to all the viewers who are going comfortably from the home with your lunch, right? Uh, anyone can come answer me now. Is it possible um, to answer? Either they can answer me through chat box or the microphone. Has some Sanjay? He was the one who wrote hand. Sanjay of 12th. Am I audible to all of you, all who virtually? Are they there when 24 participants are there? On chat, six are there. Teachers can come, can call them. Uh, 
anyone audible sir good audible akshaya can answer me now how do you find this the advantages of today's expo good afternoon sir good afternoon very good afternoon yeah Yes, sir. We so learned many things. new methods. Can you? No, oh, very good. Can anyone? Any one of the method you can tell us now, so that we'll have a satisfaction. Uh, that nine table in that nine table ascending. Uh, first, we have to write ascending uh, numbers starting to ending. Then, uh, from the ending, we have to write a descending order so that we can write nine table very easily. Super, very good, excellent. You are right. Good. So this is the purpose of it, and I hope such activity should not stop with the inauguration. And I request all the Max teachers use extensively the Max Lab even for online classes. And we are eagerly waiting all inviting our charming children of nine to twelve. From September first, keep ready yourself. Don't be so much excited. Uh, slowly, you can come to the normal mood. Since you are not seen uh, for two years, one day when you are going to see, you will be more much of excitement. Our teacher will take care of you to come out of those excitement. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Now I request our VP ma'am to address the gathering. Please, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to one and all present here. Uh, this Max Expo, I should really appreciate uh, the, your teachers, math teachers, and the students, within a very short duration, they have uh, done all these. Uh, we, we should be proud that we are Kamlavatians because within a short span of time, we were able to do so much. And if we were, if we were given extra time, uh, we would have done more, right? Yeah. And thank you for that. And as sir said, uh, uh, after I saw, let me go bilingual. மனப்பாடம்ஸ்ல <laughs> அந்த மாதிரி டைம்ல எல்லாம் அந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் ட்ரிக்னாமெட்ரி எல்லாம் எழுதி போட்டு அப்படியே போர்ட்ல அப்படியே எழுதி போட்டு அப்படியே எழுதிப்போம் அப்படியே மனப்பாடம் பண்ணிப்போம் எக்ஸாம் எழுதி மார்க்ஸ் சேர்க்க ஒண்ணுமே புரியாம எழுதிட்டு வந்த காலங்கள்லாம் இருக்கு இப்போ இதெல்லாம் பார்க்கும் போது எனக்கு ஒவ்வொன்றும் ஆக்டிவிட்டி பேஸ்டா இருக்கு உங்களுக்கு எல்லாம் உங்க டீச்சர்ஸ் அப்படி டீச் பண்றாங்க அப்படி பார்ப்போம் ஐ எம் ரியலி ஹாப்பி தட் வி வில் கெட் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மேத்தமேட்டிஷியன்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் கமலாவதி usually we all run when uh, the word math is said you maths ah that is that is because of the thing we are very lazy we don't practice every day maths requires practice right all subjects require practice especially maths every day you have to work math and see whatever is taught on that day you should write and see if you have doubts you have to get back to your teacher then only it will get fixed in your mind you should not leave it at that itself again after 10 days also again you have to practice and just one sum is more than enough if you practice then you can do everything right i think all maths teachers will agree with me and if we spend more time on that definitely we will rock and we will not run when the word math is said right and we want more mathematicians from here all future mathematicians should go from kamlavathi when we through that kamlavathi should become very famous right thank you thank you ma'am i request our principal sir to honor the students who have contributed for the success of this function please sir
for honoring the students gratitude unlocks the fullness of life it turns what we have into enough and more it turns denial into acceptance chaos to order confusion to clarity i can turn a meal into your feast your house into your home a stranger into your friend gratitude makes sense of our past brings peace for today and creates a vision of tomorrow Now let me call upon Mrs. Uma, ma'am, to propose the oath of thanks. Please, ma'am. Good afternoon to one and all gathered here physically and virtually. I am really happy and privileged to stand before you to propose the oath of thanks. First. I would like to thank God Almighty who has showered His blessing to make the function a grand one. Next, I would like to thank our trustees in absentia and the management for supporting us to do variety of programs. Next, my thanks goes to our beloved principal 
Mr. Shanmuhanandan, who is always the guiding light for every program. Thank you, sir. Next, my thanks goes to our VP ma'am, Mrs. Anuradha Raja, who is always with us to correct us in each and every aspect. Thank you, ma'am. Next, our thanks goes to our HM sir, Mr. Stephen Palasi, in absence of for his health wherever necessary. Thank you, sir. Next, my thanks goes to our Max department for their tireless work to make the expo a grand one. Thank you, teachers. My special thanks goes to our lovable students and the parents, those who are watching virtually. Thank you, parents. Next, my thanks go to the students who participated in Max Expo. Thank you, students. My sincere thanks goes to both teaching and non-teaching staff, technical team, and the electrician. Thank you. Once again, I thank you one and all. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,